how y'all doing out there? What's happening? You know, now that uh, Joe Biden was slick with pushing um, same-sex marriage and interracial marriage together, let me talk about what, let's go and start with further interracial marriages. So if you're going to acknowledge and sign into bill where the Supreme Court can't challenge certain things, why not the time now to kick open reparations? Joe Biden, you do old black folks. You help with the laws, with the incarceration. You know, it was a fine time to get into reparations. Um, I've been watching him, Kamala Harris, VP, African-American, african descent woman as his uh, spokesperson, appointed and also on the Supreme Court Justice Kendija Jackson, first African-American female on Supreme Court Justice check. Got Brittany, helped get Brittany uh, Griner back to the States. So now's the time to push reparations. The perfect time, if you're going to sign in racial marriages because you're going to tax people of different races, predominantly black and white, let's cut to the chase, which was taboo as far as being uh, considered a felony against the law until 1967 in Virginia and a lot of places. Even though the slave masters and holders ran through the plantations, black women, and and impregnated many, and there's many offshoots and offsprings, but you never hear it justified. Because when you have people who are against telling the truth and critical race theory, don't tell it. But if you're going to mention interracial marriages and make it legalized, which it should have been, if you're going to be an American citizen, you call about the rights and everything. Because I always, always say, I don't care who you're married to. Your uniform don't change, and good law America doesn't let you forget who and what you are. One drop rule, etc. Why not the time for reparations? Why not the time when you're giving our money to Ukraine and Russia and all this, everything else that's going on? Why not the time to settle what you should have settled with African American descent people? And before people say, well, you ain't born into it or this and that, oh, you're still impacted by it. If you had grandparents or parents who had to deal with Jim Crow and Jim Crow Jr., and they got Jim Crow's grandchildren, you are impacted by it. You are impacted by it because of the psychological attributes that attain. If you're the first in your family to finish high school or go to college or go to graduate school or to have a home or to have an automobile or to just simple things that being white and privileged that you get to do just because of your skin, but because you're African-American in certain sectors or going to a school of your choice, et cetera, et cetera, you are entitled to that. If you have a family member who was military, World War I, World War II, through Vietnam, where there was openly discrimination and you offshoot of that, you're entitled to that. Busing, you're entitled to that. When you're not taught about your race Every day, as an American citizen, you're African-American, you are entitled to that. If you're discriminated going to the bank, if you've been racially profiled, because those are fundamental rights that have been violated. And there has not been any law to offset that. So those are all within what should be right. You know, you're subjective to discrimination. And it's still happening to this day. So, yes, he should get off his behind if he wants to relay. He too scared that he will lose or he too scared of this. Well, if you're going to point, and like I said before, by him having a Kamala Harris, by him having an American spokesperson, by him um, having a Supreme Court justice, first African-American woman, Justice Jackson, and the Brittany Griner situation transfer. Now's the time, if you're going to pass some law and racial marriages, with black and white, and you're going to create this kumbaya unity, we are the world slogan, this is the time to strike while the match is lit. Unless you're just trying to appease. We don't trust Joe Biden. We don't like Joe Biden, but we know Trump is racist. We know they all is. But I'm just calling out on their blood. I'm calling game to be game. This is reparation time. And for other racial groups who don't understand or got a problem with it, you need to mind your business because 10 times out of nine, you've been compensated, i.e. you've benefited off of the fact that white America has allowed other groups to infiltrate certain areas at the expense of African-Americans who've been here and set up business, set up shops, get payroll grants, get government loans, and to build equity while they've profited off the black experience, billions and trillions of dollars. That is the reality.
Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Please share the video if you want to. Wash your hands. Keep your I'll watch out for one another. And hey, this is the time to strike if you're going to be so jolly and so openly. I'm out.